Joined now by Raptors rookie Terrence Davis. Terrence, first off, it is great to see you, and I have to ask, how has life been over the last few weeks for you? Well, it hasn't been as uh, as one you know would hope to be, but you know, it's been quite well. Uh, just you know, back home enjoying family, so I can't complain about that. But um, you know, definitely wanna wanna be you know doing my job right now, and you know, with some of my brothers, my teammates. Know, doing 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 our job and doing you know what we love to do and it's play basketball but uh being around family has definitely been been amazing so uh you know it's pretty pretty cool so you mentioned your teammates so i have to ask have you been in touch with many of them i know a guy like serge Ibaka was really mentoring you uh, this season so far so maybe any training tips for being in isolation <laughs> yeah no doubt uh I, I you know kept in touch with uh Serge, me and Dewan, we actually uh, spent two two weeks with him, uh, working out, just you know, just staying in shape and you know, really uh, enjoying enjoying some nice weather. But uh, yeah, I you know, keep in touch. Talked to Fred the other day. Uh, it's a few more guys that I have uh, you know reached out to. But uh, yeah, definitely keep in touch with some of those guys. And I have some uh, some workout plans from Serge as well. So uh, it's been good. <laughs> And maybe some dietary as well. I know he was big on your diet before <laughs> <laughs> all this went down as well, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, really. I'm okay. <laughs> no doubt about that. Now I got to ask, TD. Um, you said that you were at a private gym there in Tennessee, and Tennessee is one of the earliest states to say that they are going to be reopening. How has yes. training been for you, and how have you adjusted? Well, uh, it's been. I would say it's been. Uh, it's been quite. And like I've been enjoying uh, just this quiet time and this downtime, uh, just really you know, like private sessions. You know, get in the gym. You know, it's just me and you know, maybe one other person. Just really you know, putting in the work and just grinding because uh, you know, everything was just taken away from us like that. So with that feeling and you know, with that that happening, you kind of have this sense of urgency now that. That um, you know, like you don't you don't want this, you don't want this to end, you know. So you know, so uh, just just by that, you know, being in the gym and being able to get in the gym has just been just been an honor, honestly. So uh, I've been thankful for that. You know, I know Raptor fans have been just so impressed with your season so far. You know, you're the guy like Freddie who bet on himself, and then you've just been getting gradually better and better. What was it like for you when this season came to a complete halt, knowing the momentum that you have personally had? Oh, well, honestly, I, uh, I just talked with my family about this because I just really never had the, had the chance to just sit back, and I don't know if I wanted to, but being that, you know, uh, coronavirus and, you know, everything happened, uh, I just had the time to just sit back and, you know, think and really, uh, really observe, you know, and just, I would say, just really come to a conclusion that, like, I'm in a great situation, like, as far as being a rookie, uh, playing, you know, I played in every game this season, you know, it might have not have been, you know, the amount of minutes I want to play, but... You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just so blessed to play in every game. And, like, the opportunity that's in front of me, you know, I want to take advantage of. It. And that's just what, you know, I've been thinking about over this over this break. And uh, that's why I've been in the gym and really just, you know, st going up a notch or two, you know, just getting ready for, you know, the playoffs. If, if we do end up playing again, I'm not sure, you know, um, what's going to happen. But uh, I'm pretty sure the NBA is going to do a great job or whatever they decide to do. So it was announced this week that you can go to training facilities no earlier than May the 8th. Mm -hmm. Have you heard anything personally about this uh, when it comes to the Toronto Raptors? Uh, I would say nothing personally, but, uh, you know, we are uh, the organization and, you know, the NBA and Adam Silver are working together to, uh, to pretty much, you know, get, get everyone, you know, back to it pretty much get everything back to normal. I'm not sure how uh, how long it's gonna take, but uh, you know, it, we're just taking it one one step at a time. I'm pretty sure the NBA is, you know, uh, 
have some some things in mind that they want to you know get across and uh you know, we just just gonna follow their lead they're, they're they're a great great organization so we just gonna follow, follow their lead so so what would it mean to you personally if the season did get going again if we look at a, a positive if everything was safe to go especially knowing the season you had and the season that your team was having oh uh, well personally uh it would just be I mean, I'm pretty sure every every player right now is thinking the same thing about the season, season uh, resuming. Uh, you know, with me, it's just you know, I'm a rookie. I want to, I want that chance to, you know, play in the playoffs. I want that chance to actually, uh, you know, prove that I, I I belong in this league. Like, you know, I'm I've always been that guy that's out to prove, and uh, you know, in the playoffs, that's 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 where you, I mean, that's where it counts the most. So. Uh, being there, if it, if it does start back, that'll just be a blessing, you know. And, uh, you know, I'll be ready for it, and I'm pretty sure you know, our team will be ready as well, all the guys, uh, you know, once we get back together and really put the work back in, you know, and get ourselves back together, we'll be ready for, uh, you know, whatever comes our way. Now, i got to ask, one of the things that's helped a lot of us sports fans through quarantine has been watching The Last Dance arguably one of the greatest documentaries have you been watching it and have your teammates said anything about it in regards to what they went through last season uh well i i've definitely been watching it i, I actually watched it again last night i watched <laughs> episodes one and two again it's because like i mean it's just it's it's unbelievable you know you learn a lot from from just the uh, the generation before you you know uh I mean, it's it's so much so much out there that that you can learn from, uh, you know, out, outside of the court, you know, and and things of that sort. So uh, I've definitely been watching and playing, paying very close attention. I haven't really, I don't think any of my teammates said anything about it. I haven't really, really asked them have they watched it or anything of that sort. But uh, that's a good question. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna check with some of the guys and see if they <laughs> uh they they checked it out and watched it. I'm pretty sure they have though, because. If you're a, if you're a basketball player, like you gotta watch that, doc, that documentary. Like you you have to be glued to the TV. I mean, I I think so. If you're a basketball player, if you're a, like, yeah, for sure. So I'm pretty sure they they watched it, but I just I just have to check in with some of the guys. Okay, and I have to ask you. We were hearing uh, we were hearing a noise in the background. Was someone building something behind you there, TD? Yeah, yeah I think it's uh like they like it's a. Uh, um, well, this is a gym, like, and there. Are, I would, sh I would show you guys, but I don't know if I should show you. Guys. <laughs> well, this is a gym. They, they got. Like, a, they got a complex, man, and it's like a, it's it's pretty nice. They got like a indoor baseball um, facility. It's it's pretty nice, man, and I think they're they're uh, adding on to it. But uh, I'm I'm in one of these offices, you know, just uh, low key, so. But yeah, I think they're building something. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> I was hoping you guys could hear. No, it. you know what? Okay, this is this, this is what we enjoy about this television now. You literally can't control anything. This is as real as it gets, TV. Okay, so final question for you, my friend. And if, if for some reason the season can't go because of health concerns, uh, what would you take away from your rookie season as a member of the Toronto Raptors? Oh, what would I take away? Oh. Uh -huh. Just uh, just being ready when your when your time is time is called, you know. Um, continue. If it was if I was talking to you know the younger my younger self or someone that's coming to the league, uh, just you know listen to your your vets, man. These guys are like no one knows better than those guys, you know. Like obviously coaches, but the vets like. They they in a situation that you're you plan on going you know going through. Uh, that's why you know anytime Kyle, anytime Fred, all the guys, Norm, Mark, like anytime those guys say say something, I'm listening. Like I wanna I wanna know as much as I can, so I can be prepared. So I can so you guys can trust me. You know. So uh, I don't know. It's just it's just some some small things that, that I would take from it. Uh, just listening to the older guys. Uh, and you know, like I said, being ready when your time has come, because once it comes, it 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 may not come back, you know. So 
just being ready when, when your time is done. That's, that's, that's one big thing. So. And Terrence, I have one more question. I noticed on Twitter during the NFL draft, someone mentioned the fact that you were a fairly good wide receiver. And then I forget what your response was, but it was along the lines of, oh yeah, you would have been selected. Look, there were a lot of great wide receivers in this year's draft. Do you think you would have been in the mix? Uh, well, it wouldn't have been this draft because obviously I, I would have been out of school. But it would have been about two years ago, I would say, 2018 after my junior year i believe if i would have stayed uh with football i definitely would have been a draft pick and I, I i believe some people you know back home some people i grew up with that they, they would say the same thing the guy who mentioned that on twitter he's actually a mississippi football guy so he's he know he knows a lot about football <laughs> you know you know what i'm saying he know he knows the game so uh i don't think he was i don't think he was just you know trying to just you know tweets something like I, I i believe in that so uh i definitely think that would that would, that would have happened or could have happened but i don't want to take anything from you know football guys uh, i was just i mean i played it growing up and i was in love with it i just you know loved the game of basketball way more and uh you know i looked at the the differences the um the pros and the cons when it comes to football and basketball and you know i decided basketball is not a I'm thankful, you know, that I did decide the game of basketball. And I think Raptor fans are incredibly thankful as well. <laughs> the multi-talented Terrence Davis, thank you so much for taking the time and joining us today. Please stay thank safe. You thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You guys take care.